Welcome back to Chibi Robo, everybody. So tonight's gonna be pretty interesting. I've got a lot planned. Hopefully we can fit it all in. We're 10 scrap away from being able to create the final thing. One thing I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy the nectar flower seed. I'm also gonna buy a white flower seed, a blue flower seed, and a pink flower seed. And that just gets added to our inventory here. Anyhow, we can't fill the Giga Battery just yet. There's something else I want to save for anyways, so... So I mentioned at the end of last episode that there was something very interesting I wanted to do. Something that you probably aren't aware you even can do. Well, first off... Let's clean up after the dog, because the stains are getting on my nerves. So let's go out to the backyard. There are two things we have to do in the backyard today. Actually, there might be three things. First thing is... There's a free ranger up there on the tree. Totally missed him when I went here uh, in the daytime. But yeah, that's where one of the soldiers, soldiers, ex-soldiers who went AWOL and want to become pirates now. Also, the bluebird might be back, and if so, we can do more to help him. Hey, bro. Sorry I missed you before. I am Makon! I'm training to become a pirate! Sir! Yar! Sir! What? Captain Plankbeard is recruiting? Thanks for letting me know. Makon just gave you 26 happy points! Spread the happiness! Private Macon, not Private Bacon. Although Private Bacon would be pretty cool too. Um... Okay, no. I thought there might have been something hidden, a uh, chibi door hidden in the tree. Also, proof of concept, you can talk to the bird if you're a frog as well. <coughs> that cookie you gave me made me so thirsty, chirp. Now I want to drink sweet flower nectar. I want you to spray it all over me like a shower of deliciousness. I want my lovely voice back, chirp. <coughs> Here and look, I got flower nectar right there. Yay, nectar chirp! Ah, that really hits the spot. Nothing beats natural nectar chirp. You've been great, but I need one more favor. I've been eating a lot of junk lately and need some veggies. See any around chirp? A balanced diet is important. If you don't have your health, you don't have anything. You don't look so good yourself. Try not to work too hard, chirp. I came to this town so that everyone could hear my lovely voice. Alright, good for you. Good to have dreams. I'm counting on you to give me my veggie. Alright, well, we can't get that just yet, but... Oh yay! The spite ores at last. You will give me that last bit of scrap I need. There we go. One last, or actually two other things we can do in the backyard. First up, I don't think I've ever been over here. There's this nice little flower garden. And I just bought some flowers, so you can guess what we're going to do. We're going to plant a red, uh, pink flower, even though it looks red. Blue flower. And a white flower. We're not going to plant the nectar flower. 
We're saving that one for later. Anyhow, the other thing is... There are actually some weeds here that we can pick up. Weeds. Always put refuse in a proper receptacle. Kind of weird. These are the only weeds in the game you can pluck. Cool concrete like design. And this kind of looks like the one that Jenny was watching on the TV, and she said circle middle radar? Let's try it. Yes, this is happening. It's a UFO. There are aliens in this game. <laughs> this game is so bonkers, but I love it so much. Thanks, Jenny. Did you know about this? Or is it just a coincidence from the TV? Oh, hi! You guys look like me. Is that a coincidence? I can't understand you. Uh... Nice to meet you! <laughs> now that was just weird. That's just one of those really weird things you can do. <laughs> This game is so bonkers. I love it. <laughs> Chibi Robo! Was that, uh. Was that you, Chibi Robo? I don't think so. <laughs> I thought so! I knew they were aliens! I've seen them on TV, but this is the first time I've seen them in real life! They were smaller than I would have thought. And they were very shiny. But their voices were so quiet I couldn't make out what they were saying at all. Oh! I know! I'll ask Citrusoft if they have a chip that can help you hear their voices. <laughs> UFO is still in the background. Okay, see, how could anybody not just fall in love with this game and how awesome it is? They put aliens in the game. Come on. It's great. Then again, it's also a game with, like, talking toys. And a place where, like, even a family who's struggling to make ends meet can purchase their own personal main robot. Oh yeah, I didn't water my plants. I don't think you have to water the plants. I'm pretty sure that they can just do their own thing. Alright, is the Great Pico finally going to be in the fish tank again? Because I kind of want to finish up that side quest. Finish up that side quest? We're not even close to finishing up that side quest. The Great Pico is one of the last stickers you can get. Oh, he's still in the fish tank. Hello, Sophie's here. Oh no, what am I going to do? What should I do? If he reads that letter, I'll, I'll, oh, this is terrible. Oh, that's right, she lost the letter, and she was like, meet me in the kitchen later. Well, it's later. Oh, are you trying to peek at my diary? That's so rude. Oh, it's you, Chibi Robo. You startled me. I didn't know that you could walk so quietly. I assume you know my situation, my troubles, my woes. Yeah, you've monologued a lot about it. You are a true gentleman, Chibi Robo. You know how a lady feels. Sophie just gave you five happy points. And you got ten bucks. Spread the happiness. 
Anyway, I lost my very important letter. If anyone sees that letter, I'll just die! If you find it, could you please return it to me? Thank you. I've got the letter, don't you? Don't worry. Oh, maybe you already... Did you happen to find a love letter, Chibi Robo? Yep. That's it, that's it, that's it! Oh, yee, yee! Sophie just gave me 33 happy points! You got a thousand dollars! Spread the happiness! Thank you very much! Oh, I'm so glad! Say, you didn't open it, did you? Telly opened it! I did not. Oh, goody! You're such the perfect gentleman, Chibi Dang, Sophie! You've got a lot of money! You got that cash money gold mine. Where the heck is the Great Pico? I haven't seen it. Oh, he's probably in the basement. I haven't been to the basement in a while. Oh, but before I do, I should head back to the Chibi House. Oh! Hi, guys! Man, you guys are giving lame amounts of scrap. Come on. I could hardly believe my eye bolts when I saw those aliens! Shocking! Simply shocking! I couldn't quite figure out what they were saying. They were speaking so softly. Oh, I almost forgot! I think Citrusoft makes a chip that would allow you to hear soft voices. I'll contact them right away. Oh! Yes, I knew they had something like this. It's called an alien ear chip. Well, isn't that convenient? Do they know about the aliens? Because that's a very convenient name. I spoke to Citrusoft, and they've agreed to carry it in their online store. If you buy it, you'll be able to hear the softest voice as clear as a bell. Does that mean you also hear loud voices louder? Like, will it just deafen us? <laughs> you have to try it out. You just have to. Sounds so dangerous. I think it's too expensive, though. Let's see. Alien ear chip. Ah, 2100. Oh, wait, but what we can do is we can make the basement floor with our scrap. Chibiro will put your scrap into the recycle tron! The basement warp is the least useful in Utah bot. It literally just warps you from the bottom of the stairs to the top. Save you a bit of time, not super necessary, especially since you don't go to the basement very much. It's a Utah bot! Congratulations, you put all of the Utah bots! That's no small task, you know! Hmm? Wow, the Utah bots sent you a gift! They say it's a token of their appreciation! The Utah bots just gave you 100 happy points! Spread the happiness! Oh! And you got the Utah bot sticker! You really are amazing, Chibi Robo! I'll set it up out in the basement! Okay. And now what you can do, because we've built all the Utah bots, you might think, what do we use scrap for? Now we unlock the scrap trade, where we can exchange our scrap for Moolah. So, 210 scrap becomes 210 move on. Now, we should have, well, maybe we just don't have, darn it, we still have just not enough money. Darn it, I wanna, I wanna see aliens again. Oh boy. Oh, Dragon Crest, you cut such an imposing figure in your amazing uniform. I wrote my feelings down just for you. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> my heart is pounding like a bass drum. But I can't do it. I just don't have the courage. But my antenna is shaking. Or but my teeth are chattering. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I gotta go. Girls, am I right? <laughs> Can I finally do your patrol again? You know, I was really ticked off that I couldn't complete your patrol earlier. And one, and two, and one, and two! Hiya! Wa! Qua! Space Hunter reporting for duty! Hello, Space Hunter Robo! There is no need for Drake Redcrest to patrol! Peace has prevailed this day! But! You never know when the enemy will strike like a cobra! And so! Space Hunter Code Part 6, acquire the ultimate technique! 
Once I master the great twin blizzard, I will be invincible! Eva will freeze and shatter when I slap it about the face with the frozen hand of justice! But now, I must train! Leave me! Alright, so he's like, no, you will never patrol again! You fail! You lose! You get nothing, sir! Good day! So I should be able to do most of what I want to do in this video. I may not end up doing the Space Scrambler again. I watched a video on someone S-ranking it, and it's, it's so ridiculously precise. Like, you never have more than a second left. It's, uh... Anyhow, though. <laughs> Chibi Robo, when you wear the Drake Redcrest suit, looks so ticked just because he, he always looks like he's glaring. Alright, so my plan is... I'm gonna go to Jenny's room, because hopefully there's only, like, a tiny little bit of stuff we need to do before the plot will advance. Then I'm gonna go to Mom and Dad's bedroom, and hopefully advance the Funky Phil Dino plot, because I can finally give the Freaky Phil to, uh, Funky Phil. Wow, you travel fast! Oh, I haven't given him the love letter yet! Sorry to bother you, Chibi Robo. You weren't bothering me, I was just curious how you moved so fast. Again? Feels good! This time it falls on the foyer stairs. Alright, well I'm not getting that just yet. I'll get that on my way down. Mmm, thanks Chibi Robo. <laughs> yes, yeah, so Jenny's room, bedroom. Hopefully then we'll have enough money to get the alien ear chip, and then we can do the aliens, and hopefully we do that all in this night. I really hope. Fingers crossed. Jenny's room. We're moving. We're moving fast, folks. And this is a slow game, so I'm glad we can move fast. Yeah, here we go. Poor war. What's going on, man? He was staring at the like paint holder. Did you have a did you have an accident while painting? Because remember, they're just happy accidents, no mistakes. I ran out of a lizard crimp. I can't finish the bomb rose painting. God, I'm all over the Hero and the princess. A time worn cliche, isn't it? Yes, we all know the story, don't we? But I'm sure Princess Pitts would rather have lovely fresh flowers instead of my withered stems. Whenever I touch a flower, it dies. What kind of power do you have? You're a toy, right? You have the power to literally kill life by t This guy's dangerous. No wonder he's, like, being kept in a crypt and, like, thrown under the bed. If a lovely nectar flower were to bloom here, I'm sure Princess Pitts would be very happy. And this is why I bought the nectar flower. See, folks? I'll tell you what I'll do, man. Let's plant a nectar flower. And that's literally all we have to do up here. Buy more. Oh, well, we'll pick up... Literally, the only thing this family eats are cookies and, and hamburgers. Sounds like a pretty great life, but it's also going to be probably a pretty short life. Um, Sunshine is in scary mode again. Let's get out of here. Still not as bad as Watso, but... I love how they, those part, those bars at the end of the stairs near Jenny's room are bent because of the chicken races. It's funny. I just realized, because the mom's door is now like always shut, we can't even reach the water fountain. Until the door opens again. 
So if we went to the water fountain for waterfall training, you're, like if the door is swung open, you're able to climb the door and then hover over there. But not if it's shut. So we literally can't do anything. <laughs> Anyhow, we're in the bedroom. I hope the Sanderfins don't mind paying all this moolah to keep me charged up. I'm sure they don't, Chinyurubo! <laughs> Come on. I still don't understand why that happens. Are you okay? That's happened four times! This is why I like just pulling the plug, just walking away till the plug comes out on its own. Alright, Funky Phil. <laughs> I'm really ticked I couldn't do this last night, but... Well, we can do it now. Do it now! Hey, man! Whoa now, Funky Robo! What's got you feeling so unfunky? Well, I meant to give you these last night, but here you go. There's more of them. And one of them's red. Happy dance! Go, happy dance! Whoa, baby! I'm cool! You're not shocking me twice! Yo, Funky Robo, check this out! I don't know where you're getting these dudes, but they're my funky buddies now! It's time to practice our funkativity! Oh, that's great! <laughs> and I think that's what all we had to do. And now we have to wait again for another night. Whoa, yeah, Funky Robo! One day, me and the little folksters are gonna put on a show, and you're invited. In the meanwhile, take care of that old lady, will ya? How's it going, man? I was talking to them. Yo, hold up, funky buddies. No need to fuss and fret. Ain't nobody hit that straight away. The Drake Redcrest pose takes practice. Don't worry, though. You'll get it. Yeah, it's like this. Nobody appreciates me. <laughs> Alright, there's the last pirate. Um, uh, okay, I, I don't want to do that. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Um, of sorts. Hey, dude. I'm Idaho. I'm training to be a swashbuckling pirate. What? Captain Plankbeard is recruiting? Thanks for letting me know. Idaho just gave you 26 happy points. Spread the happiness. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright, hopefully I can get the last chibi doors over here now. On that, on that side of the bedroom. I was like, do you hear something? Well, then, that ceiling fan almost pushed me to my death. And I do literally mean my death. I'm running low on battery. Oh yeah, I can totally buy the ear chip now. Ooh, this one has a lot of money in it. 
I might be able to ha have enough to buy the ear chip and fill up the Giga Battery, actually. That'd be pretty fantastic. And hopefully I can just make one trip to the basement then. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm gonna have enough. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm gonna run out of battery. But that's okay. I'm not making another trip just for this door. And I have the chibi battery. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. <laughs> I'm gonna make it. <laughs> Whew, that was really close. <laughs> oh, I have a great idea, actually. I really need to get back to the cheat house in a hurry, so... Tally will take us there. <laughs> <laughs> this will be way faster. Are you alright, Jimmy Rainbow? Hang in there! I'll take you to the Chibi House now! Oh, please tell me I didn't lose any money for doing that, then. Oh, Chibi Robo! Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate the lift. Don't freak me out like that! Your Chibi ranking is still six. Yeah, I know. I need that 411 more happy points. Oh, by the way, are you sure you don't- I don't save in the middle of episodes, Telly! Let's buy us an alien ear chip. I believe this is the last upgrade. Alien ear chip. You've upgraded! Keep it up, Chibi Rebel Land! Let's go! Sweet. Let's get some water in our squirter. And let's might as well fill up the Giga battery. Right now the Giga battery has about 9,000 kilowatts charged. Do you want to charge it? You know it. Oh, 1,000 kilowatts equals 1,000 moolah. How many will you charge? That many. We'll give it 1,000 kilowatts. Eh? Huh? You filled up the Giga Battery! It's got 10,000 kilowatts and it's ready to go! Congratulations, Chibi Robo! You've done a... Huh? Well, the Giga Charger's no more, but we've got one battery full. So Giga Robo's gonna get one last hurrah, and then it's just like, well, you're dead forever. Wait a minute! According to my data files, there should be a control panel somewhere on Giga Robo's body. Cool. Yeah, Giga Charger just is no more. The dad is like, or I guess the dad's sleeping in the foyer. Tao is sleeping on the couch, just like, it's like, it's like the Tao's like, did you hear something? <laughs> Rot row. <laughs> Alright. Off to the backyard. Let's call the aliens again. I hope they come more than once a night. I think they do. I love the alien music too. It's really good. Hello, fellows. Welcome to Earth. Chibi-Robo! Aliens! Wow, wow, this is the first time I've seen one in real life! We are aliens! We are here to see friend! We made promise to friend! Must see now! Are you friend of friend? Where is friend now? 
Cheerio! Oh, well, let's show them the way to their friend! Yeah! Way to go, Chibirobo! Keep this up and we'll be at the top of the Chibi rankings in no time! Do your best! Yeah, we're helping intergalactic friends. No other Chibirobo's doing that. You want ship? <laughs> the tiny one doesn't get to come along. Aww. Also, they've got sockets where their butts should be. That's kind of weird. We follow you! Thank you, thank you! Titan just gave you six happy points! Eo just gave you six happy points! Ganymede just gave you six happy points! They're named after Jupiter's moons. It's amazing. Spread the happiness! Wow, 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 Chibirobo! The aliens gave you happy points! Titan, Titan! Eo, Eo! Ganymede, Ganymede! Nice to meet ya! Nice to meet ya! And now the aliens actually follow us around. They really do look like Chibi Robo, which is kind of funny. Follow me. Wait, just a minute! Who decides? What is justice and what is evil? What is justice? What is evil? I don't know! You cannot fool me disguising yourselves as Space Hunter Robo! Aha! I know! You've come to annihilate the world! Hideous extraterrestrial fiends! I must stop you somehow! Space Hunter Robo, I don't want to believe you're an agent of evil! However, if evil exists, justice will defeat it! This is what justice is all about! And I am the hero of justice! Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! Hmm? Space Hunter Drake Redcrest! What is this? Humiliation is a cruel mistress! I seem to have run out of gunpowder! Alright, I'll let you go just this once! But your days are numbered! Adios, enemigos! I can't <laughs> defeat you if I can't look cool doing it! Or maybe he was actually going to shoot us, and that's why. He used all his gunpowder on his poses. What was that? Cool! Alien is amigo! Want to meet amigo! <laughs> <laughs> the aliens are funny. Anyhow, that's just the local crazy man, Drake Redcrest. He thinks he's a superhero. Don't worry. Okay, so they want to see their friend. They want to see Giga Robo. If you remember when we got Giga Robo's memories downloaded into us, we actually saw the aliens in them. We didn't know they were aliens at the time, but that's what they were. <laughs> oh wow, I'm actually much faster than them when I'm running with the plug. <laughs> Honey, I'm just gonna go get a midnight snack. What the heck? Chiba Robo, you brought aliens that look like you? Why? That's so cool! <laughs> I could totally see the dad doing that. <laughs> Come, aliens, to this creepy place. <laughs> I'm not leading you into a trap, I swear. Ooh, fancy new basement warp. Lots of stuff in the basement tonight. So let's start with Giga Robo. Friend! Pal! Buddy! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Titan just gave you 30 free happy points! Leo just gave you 30 free happy points! Ganymede just gave you 30 free happy points! Spread the happiness! Oh! You got more happy points from the aliens! Your achievements are already on a universal scale! We came to fulfill our promise! Friend? Gar, what be all the ruckus now? Greetings! Ally Immobile! 
His savior sick? His mate cold? Yar, shut your cork holes for a second! Are ye asking about Giga Robo? Aye, he's as stiff as me beard. Friend has stopped! Friend does not move! Friend has died! We promised friend! We are too late! We are sorry, friend! Oh, this is really sad. No good! Oh. Are ye all grieving for me, shipmate Gigarobo? <laughs> what a kindly bunch of critters ye be! <laughs> Yar, I can't stop me tears! <laughs> tears are tiny oceans of sorrow, tis a poem I penned once. Yar, forget I said that. Pirates don't write poems. Tis another part of the pirate's code. I'm shoving off for now, Genie. They're so depressed. We, we, depart, withdraw. Oh, I want to hug him. Sorry, buddy, I tried. Also, that music that plays there, Abandoned Memories, probably my favorite track of the game. It's almost time! It's almost time! There you are, great Pico. You've been here. Have you been down just in your weird shrine in the basement last time? Ahoy there, Chibi! You've come at a good time. The scurvy splinter's about to set sail. It's almost time! Gar, tis the one-eyed flying crate! Many thanks for all your help! <laughs> no, no, that's fine. Just remember what you promised. Yar, a pirate always keeps his word. Tis part of the pirate's code it is. Here ye be! Treasure map A. Yar, here's the next one! Treasure map B. And this be the last one. It's a free part treasure map. Treasure map C. It matters not. In the end, all of the booty will rest in the scurvy splinter's hole. Yar. Avast, mateys. Prepare to set sail. I love this part so much. Are you ready? Anchors away! I get chills when I hear his laugh. <laughs> Especially in correspondence to the music. This is so cool. Come on, this is so cool. A pirate ship that literally flies. Even a toy pirate ship. Oh, how spectacular! Well then, Chibi Robo, if you'll excuse me. All the exciting stuff's happened. All right, you. Do I actually have to play your gambling game for you to do other stuff? Heh, <laughs> another sucker! I meant, oh! Dear me, your soul is unclean. Will you cleanse your soul? By gambling? Sure. This is not what the Bible teaches, though. Your desire to achieve enlightenment is quite admirable. Moolah corrupts the soul. But if you use your moolah, then your soul is gradually purified. Um... No. <laughs> That's not how that works. <laughs> now then, allow me to take your moolah as a revolution for your dirty soul. Oh, only ten bucks? That's fine. Let the cleansing begin. By repeating this process, your moolah will be purified and returned to you in time. This is the one true way to abandon worldly desires and become one with a higher plane. 
You have 410 moolah. How much will you purify? Um, let's do all of it. 400 moolah, yes. Now let us begin the process of cleansing your moolah and your soul. Everything is nothing. This is, this is a weird cult. Entrapment is release. Abandonment is friendship. The cosmos embraces you with love. This guy is so weird on every possible level. Let your doubts and fears melt away. He's got cool music though. Doubt corrupts the soul. Release, release your moolah. You're literally just telling me to give you more money. <laughs> we return to a new beginning. Is he like the creepiest porcelain doll ever? Is that what this is? Do not let your lack of experience make you nervous. If you are nervous, then I too am nervous. Let us begin our wonder. Reach with your soul. Feel with your soul. Let your soul flow to my right eye. Will it open? Or will it remain shut? One whose soul is clean will be able to see the answer with certainty. This is no, this this doesn't happen, bro. Like, this doesn't happen. <laughs> well, will my eye open? I mean, you're eventually going to open it, so yes. Do you believe it will open? Yes. Either that or you're going to keep your right eye shut for the rest of your existence. And you're a toy, so you're going to last a while. I am ready. Please do not be staring at me so much. You will disrupt the cosmic balance. And now... I wouldn't stare at you, except you're literally taking up the whole screen. He opened the other eye. What a surprise. Oh, I mean, oh, how unfortunate. Yes, terrible pity. Fate has cursed you this day. The Great Pico just gave you 40 happy points. So you, I guess you can exchange Moolah for happy points if you want. Spread the happiness. Maybe you can give me a pen for these sad feet. However, do not give in to this sadness. If you cleanse more of your Moolah, you will be able to obtain a soul that can endure any time. Will you cleanse your soul again? Dude, I'm broke! I can't. <laughs> oh my! That is not part of the plan. You are going to stop? How unfortunate. Please come again. You are weird. You've got feet, four hands, your head is a teapot. Your face is that of a monkey. You've got, like, a beard- or, I'm not a beard, a, a mustache like Salvador Dali. And your voice is higher pitched than Telly's. What the? I don't like to judge, but like, that's weird. I don't like to judge, but I'm judging. That's weird. <laughs> Alright. Now I'm up here for one reason. There are more chibi doors. No. No, 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 please, please, no! Oh, no, no, no! Oh, thank you. I actually think there's a chibi door here. Sure enough. He's like, oh my, I see you found Moolah. Would you like to purify that? Yeah, there's one more hidden door, and it's up top. Oh, also, we have the free treasure map, so we should check them out. Treasure map A, when the exalted one stands. Treasure map B, to find this treasure you will need many keys. Treasure map C, fly from the great trees, branch, and dig at the hollow plant. Okay. Oh, the spiders can appear on that shelf. I did not do that. Okay. I was wondering if you got a... I thought you got a special... 
scene for activating the last utility bot. No, you don't. That's for the first one where Telly attempts to sing teriyaki moves and uh, it doesn't go well. Well, maybe I can get the last chibi door in the basement. That would be a great way to end the episode. But more realistically, I'm probably going to run out of time right before I reach it. Yeah, it was foolish of me to try to get past the nails. That's right, it's on this side. Surprise! Thanks, Chibi Radar. <laughs> Thanks, Serenity Suds. And we got... We are rolling in the dough. Good day. Chibi Rebel, I know you're working hard, but it's time for a break. Yeah, that's why I fell asleep, dude. I know it's time for a break. Oh, it feels weird to not have the Giga Charger in here anymore. Oh! Good morning! Your achievement ranking is still six, even though the aliens gave you a bunch of other happy points. You need 254 more. Oh, well, you heard you, would you like to say? Yep. That's it for today. Man, a whole bunch happened in this episode. Way more than I was expecting. Not only did we get the aliens to actually meet Giga Rebel, I was just expecting to, like, get them the one time. Not only did we do that, we also progressed the Mort storyline. We progressed the Funky Phil storyline. And we progressed, and we uh, had the Scurvy Splinter sail again. That's a jam-packed episode. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.